Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing borax to see how well it removes bacteria in my laundry. Today's video is a viewer request. I've had requests from Tammy, Elaine M, Fiant1, Zot, Beverly Ali, MD, Patrell, Channel 3113, Mrs. TN123, Good Fruit Season, Miss Ace, Mrs. TN123, Kathleen Davis, and others. So I am going to be testing borax in my laundry to see how well it can remove bacteria from cleaning cloths. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white cleaning cloths, I'm gonna mark them with Sharpie so I know where I'm gonna do my testing. I'm gonna rub them in various areas around my home, probably the kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, the toilet room, to make sure that I get a lot of bacteria on this cleaning cloth. Then I'm gonna take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and I'm gonna swab the cleaning cloth so we can see how much bacteria is on this cloth before I wash it with borax. Then I'll wash the cloths with borax. We'll go over the directions in a minute. Swab again when it comes out of the wash machine and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. I'll also get another Petri dish and I'll swab them after they come out of the dryer. So let's see how we're supposed to use borax in the laundry. Okay, so this is just regular 20 mule borax laundry booster multi-purpose cleaner. Um, let's go to the back and it has right here directions for the laundry. It says for laundry, enhance cleaning power of laundry detergent. Instructions, dilute one half cup of borax into 12 ounces of warm water until no clumps remain. Then pour the mixture into a squirt bottle for application. I didn't know that's how you're supposed to use it. Okay. Also, there's an option to do a pre-soak, which is in a tub of warm water, add one half cup of borax per gallon of water. Pre-soak for at least five hours before washing. For best results, pre-soak overnight, then add half a cup of borax along with detergent and wash. Okay, I didn't know that's how you're supposed to use borax. You know, it's funny because when I started doing this channel, I started really paying attention to directions. And um, this is definitely one that I've never paid attention to before. So, let's see. I think most people probably just put half a cup of borax directly into the washing machine when they're doing their laundry. So I might do this test in a couple of different ways. Maybe I'll test it all three ways. Um, the diluting it and putting the mixture in a squirt bottle for application onto the cloths do the pre-soak and also do it in just the washing machine itself. I will not use any detergent though when I'm doing these tests. I'm only going to launder the cloths using borax so we can see how much bacteria the borax alone is removing. If you wanna see how much bacteria just a Tide Pod removes, I do have a video about that. I'll link that in the description below. So let's see how well borax removes bacteria from my laundry.
Now for some results. Before we get into the results, I do wanna point out one thing. There's nothing on this box of borax that makes any claim at all to be able to remove bacteria. Remember, borax only claims to be able to help remove stains and neutralize odors. But they don't have any claims anywhere that it says it can remove any sort of bacteria. For all of these tests, when I put them in the dryer, they were dried on high for one hour. Let's start with the squirt bottle application. Remember the directions were dilute half a cup of borax into 12 ounces of warm water until no clumps remain, then pour the mixture into a squirt bottle for application. So I used a spray bottle because I didn't have necessarily like a squirt bottle. When I mixed the half a cup of borax with the 12 ounces of warm water, it didn't dissolve completely. I got it to a point where there were no lumps, but it still created such a thick solution that it clogged three of my spray bottles. So I said, okay, well, it does say squirt bottle. It doesn't say spray bottle. So that's why I poured the solution on the cloths instead of actually spraying. It's too thick to use for a spray bottle. So that's why I use that. Let's look at those results. The cloth I used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. So that's the bacteria that was on the cloth right after wiping it. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. The after section is after I treated it with the borax solution and then it went through a wash cycle with no detergent. So we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there is still a lot of bacteria on that cloth. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. There's no bacteria on the cloth after it came out of the dryer. So the squirt bottle solution of borax decreased the bacteria a bit, but did not remove it completely. The cloth used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we're seeing a visible decrease in bacteria. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. So there's still some bacteria on this cloth after being treated with the borax solution and being washed with no detergent and after being in the dryer. So the borax solution seemed to decrease the bacteria a bit, but did not remove it completely. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria on that cloth. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. There's still a few small colonies of bacteria on the cloth after it came out of the dryer. So the borax seemed to decrease the bacteria a little bit, but it did not remove it completely. Let's look at the results when I did a pre-soak. Those directions were, remember, in a tub of warm water, add half a cup of borax per gallon of water. Pre-soak for at least five hours before washing. For best results, pre-soak overnight, then add half a cup of borax along with detergent and wash. So I did the pre-soak for five hours and then I added the extra half a cup of borax in the wash machine. Remember, I did not use any detergent. The cloth that was used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria and we can see different types as well. And in the after section, remember this is after it was pre-soaked for five hours and then washed with no detergent with an additional half cup. We can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there still is some bacteria hanging around. So the borax seemed to decrease the bacteria, but not get rid of it completely. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. We can see there's no bacteria on the cloth after it came out of the dryer. So the borax pre-soak and half cup in the wash seemed to decrease the bacteria on the cloth but did not remove it completely. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a lot of bacteria again. However, it does look like a different type of bacteria. It does look like that small yellow colony was removed. However, there's still a lot of bacteria on this cloth. Let's have a look after it went through the dryer. There's no bacterial colonies on the cloth after coming out of the dryer. So the borax pre-soak and the additional half a cup of borax in the wash machine seem to decrease the bacteria a little bit, but there's still a lot of bacteria on it seem to get removed more by the dryer. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. 
In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. So the borax pre-soak with a half cup in the wash seemed to decrease the bacteria that was on the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. And there's just one small bacterial colony left. Next, let's look at adding just half a cup of borax to a wash cycle with no detergent. The cloth that was used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still a lot of bacteria there. So half a cup of borax in the wash cycle seemed to decrease bacteria a little bit, but there's still a lot there. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. And there's no bacteria on the cloth after it came out of the dryer. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a strong visible decrease in bacteria. There's just a few colonies hanging around. So the borax seemed to do an okay job at decreasing the bacteria from the cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. And there's no bacteria left on the cloth after coming out of the dryer. Let's look at the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there still is a lot of bacteria hanging around on that cloth. So the half a cup of borax in the washing cycle decreased a little bit of the bacteria, but there still is bacteria on that cloth. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. There's still some bacteria hanging around on the cloth after it came out of the dryer. Overall, testing borax in three separate ways in the laundry seemed to decrease the bacteria on the cloths. It did not eliminate the bacteria completely using just the borax in a wash cycle. Most of the bacteria that was left over on the cloths after washing was removed by the dryer, but not all. There were some cloths that still had bacteria on them after being washed with the borax in some way and drying in the dryer. So remember though, that I just used the borax in all of these washing and laundry tests. I did not add any laundry detergent because we just wanted to see the impact of the borax with the bacteria on the cloths. So personally, I would not use this as my go-to to remove bacteria. However, it did do a good job at decreasing the bacterial load on the cloth so that it could be completely or almost completely eliminated in the dryer. And I do want to point out nowhere on this box, anywhere, does it claim to be able to remove bacteria. That is really important for us to remember. Just testing it because that's what my viewers had asked me to do. What it does claim to do is help remove stains and neutralize odors. Now, usually when you're neutralizing odors, it's probably because you're decreasing the bacteria, which we can say it definitely can decrease bacteria but it doesn't actually come out and say removes bacteria. What I will do is add borax to my next t-shirt staining test. I think I've done three already, so this will be the fourth one I do, and I think it'll be good to test its ability to remove stains because that is what it claims to be able to do. So thank you to all my viewers who suggested I test borax in the laundry to see if it can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewers suggestion list, or you can mail me something, my email address is in the description below. Send me an email and let's have a conversation about the product. It might be something I've already tested, it might be something that I have in queue at home, or it might be something I just don't have the ability to test. Let's have a conversation and then I'll give you my mailbox address so you can mail it to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.